In the House of Commons this week, MPs discussed at length the problem of inflation and the part which industry could play in fighting this, the most serious economic crisis since the war. The Prime Minister himself gave classic examples of how certain major industries were preparing for the battle with a high degree of dedication, skill and enthusiasm. Highlighting the special problems facing the soft drinks industry, he outlined the specific plans of the more forward-looking companies. Citing, as an example, Corona, that progressive subsidiary of the Beecham Group. He emphasized the truly remarkable solidarity of the workforce and management, as well as the effectiveness of the marketing strategy in laying a strong foundation for the future. These have ensured that the strengths of the company's overall operation are such that Corona is in the strongest possible position to face the tough trading conditions which are expected to persist through the coming year. A year feared by the other soft drink manufacturers who feel that the burning issue is how to survive in 1975. Corona believe this is negative thinking and see 75 as a real challenge. A challenge best tackled by the intelligent, economical application and use of its many assets. Cabinet commented on the size of the total soft drinks market, which is currently worth an estimated £450 million at retail selling prices. Whichever sector of the market they examined, the ministers found themselves confronted by the impressive success of the Corona marketing strategy. Taking, for instance, the total carbonate market, the sales in this sector are down by 5% in the last year. Yet Corona sales show an increase of 4%. This brings the company's share to 16.5%, compared with 15% a year ago, and proves that while the trend for the rest of the industry is on the decline, Corona still forges ahead. A detailed examination of the can market gave the same story. While the overall can sales through CTN showed a healthy increase of 16%, those for Corona rocketed by a staggering 30% in the last year. This lifted the company's share in this sector from 13.8% to 15.4% in one year. Total can sales through grocery outlets showed a decrease of 7%, yet Corona sales again increased by 30%, pushing the company's share from 2.4% to 3.3%. Research has shown that 36% of all CTN stores stock Corona bottle carbonates and 29% stock the cans, while 37% of the grocery outlets stock the bottles and 19% stock the cans. The range and variety of the company's products is one of the strong reasons for its market domination. Corona is just one of the major brands marketed by the company, and there's a wide range included within this product group. The Corona Standard Carbonates, undisputed national leader in their market segment, Premium Carbonates, the Rolls Royce of the carbonate market, Corona Cans with sales rocketing, plus a full range of fruit drinks and cordials. Idris range of carbonates, mixers, shandy, squash and ginger beer, all quality soft drinks, especially well established in the south of England. 
who knows what fantastic success this brand will have when it's developed and more widely marketed. Tango, the only high quality whole fruit carbonate drink on the market. With a full range of citrus flavors available in both bottles and cans, this brand is set for a bright future. And finally, Seavit, the blackcurrant vitamin C health drink with its unique theme of more vitamin C for less, is certainly worrying its major competitors now and looks like causing them even greater concern in 1975. Back at Westminster, the Prime Minister summarized the position. Backbenchers were quick to react when he assessed Corona's situation as appearing almost monopolistic. Cries of outrageous and unfair competition could be heard above the uproar as questions flowed thick and fast from all sections of the House. The Prime Minister explained that Corona had studied the market closely and had concluded that, with the lack of any truly effective opposition, the path was open for rapid expansion. Every angle of the marketing operation had been analysed and tested. different methods of distribution had been considered and indeed put into operation. No possible mode of transport would be overlooked in the bid to maintain a speedy and efficient service to its customers. Now and in the future. Who knows, people on other worlds may soon be drinking Corona. The Prime Minister said that he had examined this aspect of the company's operations together with its promotional activities and admitted that he was highly impressed. The posters especially had real impact, he said, and could not fail to motivate purchases. The quality of all the ranges is second to none, and Corona spare no expense in searching the world for the high standard fruit which forms the base of these drinks. With all these impressive qualities, no wonder people want Corona, even demand Corona. The demand for the product is little short of sensational. The world is clamouring for Corona. Even the football crowd shout for it. Corona! Corona is the greatest! The sales of the product are roaring ahead. The fight for survival in a tough, competitive market is going to be hard, but the sales force has taken up the challenge. The whole company has taken up the challenge. And with Corona, they're on a winner. A winner all the way.
Corona. Corona, it's the greatest.